Welcome to my channel and in today's video, this is cooking challenge part two. I did a video, um, it was kind of lengthy, but it was because I was actually digging through my refrigerator and freezer to try to find different things. What my cooking challenge is, is I'm trying to get rid of a lot of things that are in the house currently. Some things have been in my uh, freezer, especially for long periods of time. Um, and in some cases, maybe longer than a year. So I'm trying to get all of that cleaned up and cleaned out. I am um, using everything, all my resources that I have in the house, whether it was things that I grew or things that we have in the pantry. Um, so I got to thinking today after I was looking through the fridge last night, but I have an idea of what I might make and it's gonna be a lot quicker tonight. So I'll take you with me and show you what I have in the fridge. So tonight's gonna be something super simple. I was gonna make some pizza dough, but I decided I know I have some of these in my drawer. So I'm gonna use that. The other day we did buy a rotisserie chicken. So I have some of this left. I'm going to do something with this. I also know we have a bunch of sauces in here. I think I'm going to go with this, the buffalo spicy garlic. We do wings often, and so we buy these um, wing sauces that are fantastic. And I have some of this for my salad. So I think I'm gonna pull this. So this is where I store all my cheeses. I do have some mozzarella. What other cheeses do I have in here? Okay, I think I'm gonna take this out and clean this up a little bit. I'm not sure what that all is. I'll leave this right here so I can clean it up later. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to take this whole drawer out. It looks like I've got a mess in there. I'll have to clean that out here in a little bit. Got some Parmesan. I might save that for another meal because I have an idea. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna make some dough products in one of my meals. Oh. I actually have, this is a leftover chicken too. Hmm. <gasps> okay, so I know, I think I know what I'm gonna do with this, maybe tomorrow. This and the Parmesan. Okay, so I think I know what I'm going to do. So this is going to be a very simple meal tonight. I'm going to use these ingredients. I do have some ranch, Todd likes ranch. I like the blue cheese. We both like buffalo flavored things. Can't go wrong with this. Got some mozzarella cheese, and I don't know, I might use some of this. This is, um, oh, it's the cheddar. Garlic, garlic cheddar curds. Get those at Aldi's. Oh, and I'm gonna grab some, I might get some garlic too. I'll grab some of my homegrown garlic. Okay, so I'm gonna get this chopped up. I'm gonna get the chicken pulled off of the whole chicken and I'm going to get all this set up and I'll show you what I'll do with all of this. Okay, so I went ahead and I heated this chicken a little bit just to kind of get it so it's not so firm. So I'm going to just peel this chicken off. The reason why I am doing this challenge, like I said, is not only to try to minimize and get rid of all the stuff that I have in the refrigerator, freezer, pantry, using some of the produce that I grew as well. But I also, because I hate wasting food, but also to try to save on money. Groceries are so expensive nowadays. Yeah. There's a wishbone. But so far, all we've purchased this month is we got this chicken, and I know I had to get creamer, which I need to look for a recipe. So creamer is so expensive nowadays. I think I need to look for a recipe on how to make a creamer similar to what I currently use, hopefully a cost-efficient way. Okay, oh, and that cheese. This is that cheese I got out of the fridge because it was dirty. I cut it open and it actually tastes really good, so I think I'm gonna use that for this dish. This is just gonna be a super simple, easy, quick meal tonight, but I'm not spending a dime because we have everything in the refrigerator so far. So get all that broken up and then I will show you how I'm gonna piece this together. 
super simple, super easy. It's going to take me probably 20 minutes to put all this together. And that cost me a dime. Oops. I got chicken flying all over the place. All right. The dogs are going to love that when they come in. Okay, so I went ahead and I got these out. We use these when we make our street tacos. Um, because it's been open already. The other package had not been open yet. So I am just going to basically start. Okay, so I'll make Todd's. I know he likes the ranch. I'm just going to drizzle that on there. This is a yogurt dressing and dip. I might just put it a little bit in the center and then use a spoon and spread it out. So do you So I know this isn't exactly a pizza, but it, it's pretty close to like a buffalo chicken style pizza. I am just going to take this and crumble this cheese. This is the cheese. I'm going to crumble this cheese on here. And it's made with the part skim milk, so it should melt pretty well. And I'm not even going to bother using the other cheeses. I'll save that for another dish. All right, I'm going to pop this in the microwave and then we'll give it a taste test. Oh, I almost forgot the garlic. I don't think Todd's really going to care for the garlic, but I love garlic, so I'm just going to sprinkle this minced garlic that I just minced right over on top of mine. Mm. Okay, so this is, this is the results of what I just made. I just popped it in the microwave for about a minute. And I'm just going to treat it like a pizza. Okay, so it might be a little sloppy here. So I cut it into some pieces, and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a quick try. It's a little bit flimsy since it's more on, like, these taco shells. That is very good. Very good. And I would definitely recommend putting the garlic on it. I think I'm gonna throw some garlic on it anyways, or maybe I'll let them taste it without and then with. Anyways, this is fantastic. If you have these ingredients at home, you really should try to give it a, give it a try and see what you think. It's super easy to make. Thank you very much for watching and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day and I appreciate you. Until next time.